Let's learn how to make the Creativity for Kids Quick Knit Charm Bracelets. This kit has everything you need to make 10 charm bracelets. Included in your kit, you'll find yarn, a knitting tool, knitting pick, chenille stem, silver beads, small beads, bead threaders, charms, and gift tags. Let's start by setting up the knitting tool. First, we'll make a slip knot about eight inches from the end of the yarn. To make a slip knot, Wrap the yarn around two fingers to make a loop, and then reach through the loop and pinch one of the strands of yarn. Pull it through the loop and tug on the tail to tighten the knot. Place your slip knot onto one of the pegs on the knitting tool. To put the tail of the yarn through the tool, lay it over the chenille stem and push the stem and yarn down into the hole. Once your yarn is hanging out the bottom of the knitting tool, you can start knitting. First, wrap the empty pegs by going around each peg counterclockwise, starting with the peg to the left of your slip knot. It'll look like a four-leaf clover once they're all wrapped. Once there's a loop on each peg, wrap the yarn around the outside of the pegs without looping around each of the individual pegs. I'm holding the strand taut above the slip knot. Use the knitting pick to lift the bottom loop up and over the top strand and off of the peg. Tug on the tail at the bottom of the knitting tool to tighten your stitches and keep your loops at the bottom of the pegs. Each time you lift a loop, it creates a stitch and the finished bracelet grows like a tube out of the bottom of the knitting tool. If you find that your loops are difficult to move with the pick, Try holding your yarn looser as you go around to create looser loops. If your loops come off of the pegs while you're working them, don't panic. Just put the bottom loop back on the peg and start the stitch again. Work your bracelet until you've made it as long as you'd like. There's a convenient ruler printed inside the instruction booklet. Remember, when you're measuring your bracelet, you wanna measure from the beginning of your stitching to the base of the pegs. Mine is about six inches long. Here's how to finish your bracelet. Take a loop off of the peg and move it onto the peg to the left of it. So there's two loops on that one peg. Lift the bottom loop up and over the top loop and off of the peg. Now repeat that, putting this loop onto the peg to the left and again, lift the bottom loop up and off. Repeat this until you only have one loop left. And then cut the yarn, leaving about six inches and pull the tail through the last loop. You can also create multicolored bracelets two ways. First, to create color block bracelets, just knot your working yarn to another color and trim the tails short. Just continue stitching like you normally would. And when you work the knot, just be sure to tuck the tails towards the inside of your work. or try doing a two color twist bracelet. To create this bracelet, begin by slip knotting both colors together put both tails through the middle then use one color to wrap the pegs use the second color to go around the four pegs
Once you've worked every peg, use the first color to go around the pegs. Keep alternating between the two colors back and forth. When you reach the end of the bracelet, put both tails through the final loop to finish it. Once you've finished making your bracelet, you can embellish it with charms. There are 10 charms included in this kit, each with a special meaning. This dragonfly signifies happiness. After you've slid the charm onto your bracelet, put the tails through the bead threader, and then put the threader through one of the large silver beads. This bead will let you adjust the width of your bracelet to fit any sized wrist. Then thread one small bead onto each of the tails of the yarn. I've tied a knot about one and a half inches from the end of the bracelet to hold the small bead in place. That's all there is to it. This kit includes gift tags that you can use when sharing your charm bracelets with your friends. You can use the tools included in this kit over and over. If you run out of yarn, you can find more at lionbrand.com.